Long ago, I had a great, great uncle. Uh, mess on this blanket. These are his books. This was my, gra my grandfather's father's brother. Uh, my paternal grandfather. So my great grandfather's brother. He was name his name was Ben. Anyway, he served in World War One, <clears throat> and this was the book he was given in boot camp, in which you you uh, record your uh, oh your the, what you do and how you do it for the various uh, courses of, of fire on the range. Uh, at that time, uh, the average uh, doughboy was trained as a uh, basically as a uh, sniper, <laughs> what we would call a sniper today. Anyway, that one and this one, and this is the 1913 Small Arms Firing Manual, also his. But you'll notice this is a 1917 model, this is model of 1917 on it. <clears throat> so that tells me that he served late in World War I, or he was, uh, went through boot camp late in World War I, because at the beginning, well not at the beginning of the American involvement in World War I, we used the 1903 Springfield. The 1917 Enfield was because we ran short on, on Springfields, and Remington was uh, tooled up to make the Pattern 14 Enfield for Germany, excuse me, for Great Britain, and so they had the, um, the full uh, set of, of tooling up for the, the Pattern 1914. Well, somebody from the Ordnance Department went over and says, can you just rechamber this in 30-06 and we'll call it a substitute standard, and they said, you got it. So they just started churning out millions of these things. Well, this is a pattern 1917 Enfield. I bought this as a sporterized gun. It uh, did not, it was not in the stock, and it was uh, in pretty awful shape. Well, this, the stock itself is, is an original surplus stock, and it's in pretty awful shape to begin with. But these two handguards here came from Numerich Arms. So did. Um, the, this and, and these uh, uh, sling mounts, this ring, uh, this is the uh, bayonet lug, also the front sight. All of that came from Numerich Arms. And I stripped it out of the old stock. This, is a, this stock here is one I happen to have from a surplus. And I put the whole thing together as a standard issue Enfield. Granted, it looks a little wonky because the, the color doesn't match on the wood. Uh, this, this is an ancient stock, <clears throat> and these are brand new government issue surplus. Brand new, meaning they were probably made about the same time, but they've been sitting in stores forever. Bought them from Numeric Charms. Anyway, I now have something I've always wanted, which is a rifle just like the one Uncle Ben had. And here it is. Uh, it, it doesn't look quite as good as his did, I'm sure, but his was right out of, uh, uh, you know, it just came straight off of the, uh, the Remington line and went straight to the soldiers, so uh, of course it's going to look a lot better. This one has a, a lot of years on it, but uh, it, it looks a lot better than it did as a sporterized one, and uh, I always wanted one, just thought I'd show it off.